Hey guys, it's your boy Arj back again with more Dragon Ball Super movie information and let me just say this straight away. This is legit, this is a legit idea stacked with evidence that would shock the community if it turns out true so make sure to watch all the way to the end and it's all to do with the new picture released of the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. As you know on October 5th a mystery character will be revealed and up till now, yes. Yes, it's me who's been touting Gogeta to be revealed. You guys who are subscribed already know I've been talking about Gogeta in multiple videos for literal months. But this image is attempting to flip everything on its head. Look at this silhouette and tell me the first character that pops into your head that this silhouette reminds you of. Leave your comments down below about whatever ideas you have as you guys already know I will be replying to you unlike other YouTubers so get your ideas down as I'm genuinely interested in what you have to say. Finally smash that subscribe button to enter our Xbox One X giveaway which ends in 7 days and is all sponsored by Bandai Namco. One click and you're in so get that done now. So I'm guessing and hoping all of you came to one name. Maybe two, and that is either Golden Freezer or Cooler. Now, Golden Freezer is an okay guess, but they've already said this is going to be a new character. And of course, we already have figurines for Golden Freezer, so that just leaves Cooler. Now, once more, I want to clarify my personal belief is that this new character revealed on October 5th will be Gogeta or Bardock. That is what I've said so, so, so many times. The reason I'm talking about non canon cooler making an appearance is because just like when the first Dragon Ball Super movie trailer dropped, everyone wondered who was this mysterious new Saiyan with the green key and everyone said it was an ancient Saiyan like Shallot but eventually we did eventually get Kumba to fill in the role of an ancient Saiyan. But critically I also said this whole green key tells me a lot of Broly vibes are coming and this very well could be Broly and he's definitely one option. Which was met with Err, uh, Arch, oh, not sure if you're aware but Broly is non-canon. That means he'll never be in the movie. Which is canon. What an idiot. Gord. To which I was like, fair enough. But that is just one option to think about. And then boom. Broly came and the world went crazy. Then I made a video saying after Vegeta appeared in Dragon Ball Heroes Episode 3 that Gogeta must be appearing in the movie as they released Fusion Reborn Remastered and repeating Vegeta after he appeared in Dragon Ball Heroes would be lame and again I was met with Err, uh, okay Odd, you might have been correct with Broly but there's no way Gogeta is coming, he's non-canon, he's even weaker than Vegito. why would they choose him? Again, I really didn't care, after seeing Broly I was not dumb enough to fall for the non-canon crap anymore as we even saw Super Saiyan God Vegeta now as well. And sure enough, weeks later a lead animator from the film confirmed he is working on who? Gogeta. And now 90% of the fandom believe Gogeta will be in the movie. Okay, so non-canon means absolutely nothing in this movie. Great, now that's sorted. Even though I think this will end up being Gogeta or Bardock and maybe some sort of troll, I think this silhouette is 100% a cooler silhouette. Look at the shoulder pads which are coolers, look at the head shape which is coolers, look at that broad upper body which we see on cooler instead of freezer and then look at how his feet are mysteriously the only part of his body covered up by Dragon Balls as if his feet would give him away and as we know only Frieza and Cooler have strange three toe feet which are unique to them. Now why would Cooler be in this film? I don't know but clearly Dragon Ball Super are looking to make new content in 2019 as in a new series of new episodes which if you've not seen my video on that already go look at that right now as it's gonna blow your mind. But they've already begun making a lot of movie ideas canon as we can see in this movie. From Broly and Paragus to Bardock and then the high likelihood that Gogeta will appear. So it makes absolute sense 
they're going to complete the set and bring in Cooler. Who, by the way, and here is proof number four, Cooler has just appeared in Dragon Ball Heroes, the anime, and is a main character who turned not only golden, but fought Comba one on one. What a perfect way to reintroduce Cooler back into the series and to the fans' thoughts, just as they have with the legendary Super Saiyan movie, the Bardock movie, and the Fusion Reborn movie. My oh my, the parts of this puzzle are fitting in nicely. If this guy gets revealed on October 5th, what will you be saying to me as the first person yet again to put all the pieces together? Bros, I know, I just know this is making sense to you, so stand tall and be prepared for the likelihood of a massive reveal taking place on October 5th, which will be 100% covered here on this channel. As always, leave your comments down below as I will be replying, but before you go, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and notification button to enter our Xbox One X giveaway with a copy of Dragon Ball Fighters, all sponsored by Bandai Namco. One click and you're in, so get that done now. Until next video guys, cheers. P.S. guys, if you didn't know about the earlier video that I spoke about with the new episodes of Dragon Ball Super next year, make sure you're not only subscribed but also have the notification turned on since YouTube is messing up the sub boxes now. As always, I'll do your solid though and post the highlights of that video right now so you don't have to find it. Enjoy. Okay, so here we are boys, Therese 27 Twitter and you already know how trustworthy and on it this guy is with his DB news and updates to the Dragon Ball YouTubers. He's on Herm's level, so follow him if you'd like. But here is where everything has been confirmed and set in stone. Yoshihiko Umakoshi, who is confirmed and already working on the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, has said on a live broadcast on Nico Nico that he is working on and practicing Gogeta. This is not no ordinary animator, this is a dude known for his work on One Piece movies and other AAA anime who of course has been roped into the biggest anime movie release of the year and he has now told everyone what he is working on and that is Gogeta. Now completely removing any doubt whatsoever about his appearance. After decades and decades of waiting for that epic theme of Gogeta, it's finally coming back. Therese notes how that he only really found this out after searching in Japan whether there was interest in Gogeta appearing and uncovered this broadcast which was mysteriously removed from the internet but another user known as Sailor Spaz, great name by the way, was able to find it and have this quote confirmed as she personally translated it for us. And she is no unknown nobody either in this whole Dragon Ball world as she was the official interpreter of Kamehakon and is currently in Japan so she is legit and known by many of us. So guys, that is it. Case closed. You guys know how many times I've spoken about Jojita now, talking about it like it's fact because I just knew this was the case given all the evidence. From the reveal of Fusion Reborn being remastered, to the leaked data mine of Xenoverse 2 of Gogeta Blue, to the fact both Bardock and Broly are in the new film, two out of three of Japan's official and most requested characters for Dragon Ball Fighters, the third being Gogeta, then all of the new Gogeta toys that have been released alongside toys of Super Saiyan God Vegeta and Super Saiyan God Goku and now finally the actual animators themselves revealing it probably by accident what exact characters they are working on and thus confirming Gogeta. It's a done deal and I'm hyped but you guys do let me know what you think. Do you still have any doubts or are you as confident as me? Let me know as I will be replying, but things don't end here. Now that we know Gogeta is real, you can definitely enjoy one of my past Gogeta theory vids in full now, given it's no longer just theory and it's one step closer to being a full reality. Enjoy this video on how Gogeta will push Brody to the limit, because I promise you, you will see this in a whole new light this time. But now it's time to talk about why even though Gogeta will appear, he's gonna lose. In fact, his first loss in history as he bodied Janemba and Omega Shenmue.